Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Recently, Adobe has updated Lightroom Classic CC to version 8. This new version doesn't have a lot of new extra things added to it. It does have the typical bug fixes. It has some new camera support and some new lens profiles. It also added support for HEVC video files. That's an Apple codec. For video and I know not a lot of us use Lightroom for video but if you do and you used that Apple codec HEVC it is now supported in this latest version of Lightroom. They added some improved tethering performance for Canon cameras and they added a couple more uh, Canon models to that support. Uh, they did some image improvements, editing improvements to the dehaze slider when you would use the dehaze slider, particularly on a high ISO image. Sometimes you'd get a color cast in the shadows, and apparently they fixed that issue. They also did some small improvements to the luminance range mask. That's when you're using the local adjustment tools, either the um, graduated filter, the radial filter, or the brush, and you wanted to use the luminance range mask. They added some minor improvements to that. They did add two things that are a little bit more in depth, I would guess you would say. One of them, in this one I'm going to do a video in the future demonstrating how to do this. It's now they've added an HDR panorama merge. Now you probably know that in Lightroom you could do an HDR merge. So you would take some set of bracketed images and you could merge them um, with Lightroom into one high dynamic range image. You also probably know that in Lightroom you could shoot a panorama. So you could say start at the left side of the scene and take a shot, move a little bit to the right, take another shot, more to the right and more to the right and keep taking shots and then you could merge that into a panorama. Well what you couldn't do in the past was bracket all those images in that panorama. So this would come in handy if you're shooting a high dynamic range scene and you're pretty sure the exposure latitude of your camera isn't capable of capturing that high dynamic range scene, but you still want to shoot a panorama. So what you would do is you would say shoot a bracket at the far left. Let's say for the sake of argument it's a three shot bracket. Then you'd go a little bit to the right, you're shooting a panorama, take another three shot bracket, and then maybe a little more to the right because again you're shooting that panorama, so you take another three shot bracket. So you have actually nine images for this panorama that really consists of three images going left to right. In the past, you would have to either, you would have to probably do the HDR first for all nine of those images. Three different HDRs, meaning three for the far left, three for the middle, then those three in the uh, far right. You would do those, so you'd have now three HDR images, and then you would merge those to panorama. Now you could do it all in one step. And to do it, you would select all those images and you would just right click on the image and you could go to photo merge. And you can see it's grayed out here because I don't have them selected. And it's called HDR panorama. And again, I am going to demonstrate that in a future video. I just don't have images uh, in my Lightroom library that I could demonstrate that right now. So I'm gonna go out and shoot an HDR panorama and in a future video, I'll demonstrate how it's done. What I am going to demonstrate in this video is another thing they added to um, this version, version 8 of Lightroom Classic CC. And that is the depth range mask. This is a mask that is available in the local adjustments. That is the graduated filter, the radial filter, and or the brush. And it will only work with iPhone images that were shot in HEIC. That's kind of like the raw format for the uh, iPhone raw image. This is only available, now this um, thing that <laughs> this, um, this range mask is only, will only work with iPhones basically from 7 plus on up in newer. So 7 Plus and newer that have the dual cameras that are able to capture an image in portrait mode. Now to make sure that you're saving the images on your iPhone in HEIC 
format, what you're going to need to do is go to settings, go to your camera, then where it says formats, click on that and make sure you're on high efficiency. So make sure you have the check mark on high efficiency and that way you'll be saving the images in HEIC format and then all that depth of field data will be saved with the image. For this demonstration, I just took this little pumpkin thing that was on our front porch and I put it on the hood of my car and I took a portrait image with my iPhone 7 Plus and this is it, nothing special. But because it was shot in portrait mode that is available with the iPhone and it was shot in HEIC format, I'm able to use this depth range mask that is new in version 8 of Lightroom Classic CC. And again, it's available in either the graduated filter, the radial filter, or the brush. And I'm going to demonstrate it with the graduated filter. I want to pull exposure down a little bit of everywhere around our pumpkin. So I'm just going to pull straight down. I'm going to make it relatively large. I'm going to hold the shift key down so it's perfectly straight. So now I have this graduated filter, but you can see it affects the entire image. I don't want it to affect the pumpkin. So we'll go to where it says range mask and I'll click there and you can see depth. When I click on that, nothing really happens. But what you need to do then is take this range slider and you could move it. First of all, I could show you the mask by clicking on this little checkbox. And you could see that wherever is white, is what is in focus and what whatever is not in white is out of focus and basically we want to apply this graduated filter to the areas that are not in focus so to do that then once you pick it go to this range slider and just move either of these two sliders left or right and you can see how now it's applying the mask more specifically to just the pumpkin. So the graduated filter is only affecting the area around the pumpkin. You could try moving the other side too and see if that does anything. It doesn't. I kind of like it like that. Then the smoothness slider, you could move that to better enhance the effect to make it look better. So there is before and there is after, and there is before, and there is after. So you could see it's very effective. The unfortunate thing about it, it will only work with iPhone images, and your iPhone image must be captured in HEIC format. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, it wasn't really a major update to the Lightroom Classic CC. I am going to go out as soon as possible and shoot an HDR panorama set of images and I'll demonstrate how to do that in Lightroom Classic CC version 8.0. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.